Hello everybody, today we are on the Hunter Classic again. After I got that non-typical that you guys saw in the last Classic video, it made me want to play this game a lot more. It really brought back that love for the game that I had before. And I figured we'd go to Whiteheart today and see if we can get ourselves a nice black tail deer or maybe a nice white tail, preferably a black tail though. I do need to get a non-typical one still. So let's go ahead and go over our loadout real quickly and see if we need to replace anything. All right, so it does look like I've got everything that I want. So I think what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and go up to this tree stand that I've got because this has been such a good spot for me. Every time I go here, I have at least one blacktail buck come in. So we're going to go there and hopefully we get lucky and have a nice buck there. So we do have an elk calling. I stayed at that tree stand for a little bit, but couldn't really get anything to come to call. So I decided to just move along. Normally at that stand, there's either something there immediately or it takes quite a while. So I decided it wasn't really worth staying there. So we're going to try and walk around and see if we can find something. We do have this cow up here, but I I would imagine that it's probably just cows. If we have a bull with her, then we'll probably take him for sure. Let's see what these other tracks are, I guess, real quickly. And that is also from a female elk. We actually have a gobbler. I guess we'll see if we can get that to come in. Hopefully we can because I do want to see if we can get a good turkey at some point. With them being added to the hunter call of the wild, I do want to see if I can get a big one here on classic also. Alright, so our turkey is finally coming in. He is in our sight now. Uh, let's get the spotting scope out. I do want to get a spot on him. Little male turkey. So we'll go prone and move a little bit closer. Then start calling him in again and hopefully we can get him up close and get a bow shot. Alright, so I can hear its footsteps. It's definitely really close now. Don't want to spook it, so I'm going to stay proned. Hopefully, we'll get it to come close. So, it looks like we might have attracted a second turkey also. I don't know if we'll be able to get both of them. If we're careful with our bow shots, we can, but... We're gonna have to make sure they don't get too close to each other. I still haven't had this first guy come over the hill. I'm wondering if he spooked. I did hear some flapping. And so, I think he might have flown off. I hope he didn't, but it's looking like he might have. Oh my gosh, he's a lot closer than I thought. Oh, that's what I heard him do. Okay. So we were actually good the first time. There we go. That turkey is down. Let's get some arrows put in. That's one gobbler down. Now let's see if we can get the second one. Because we did hear another one gobble. And we actually have a third turkey that's apparently right on us. Oh my gosh, it's right there. I thought it spooked. Okay, so that's two turkeys down. There should be one more. There should be one more. All right, we're going to go ahead and crawl to these turkeys and see if we can claim them real quickly. Turkey models just look so good in this game. Way better than the older models they had, for sure. Go ahead and claim this turkey. And this one is 32.7 now. It's been... A long time since I've hunted turkeys in this game, so I actually don't remember what these scores for them usually are. But, I'll do a quick check while I'm thinking about it. Alright, so yeah, this is a pretty low scoring one. Looks like we have to get a 69 or higher for it to be on the leaderboard, so... 
We probably won't really take a trophy shot unless we get one. Oh, yep, that last one spooked off. Oh well. As I was saying, we probably will not take a trophy shot unless we get one that scores at least 65. But let's go ahead and claim the second turkey. A perfect heart shot. 31.9. A little bit smaller than the last one. Oh, well, we finally got ourselves a call from a black tailed deer, but it's a female. So, that's not really going to help us out too much, but hopefully that'll lead us to a buck. Because there are some times where you hear a doe and there's a buck with her, so let's hope that's the case. If not, we're going to have to keep looking. Because I really don't want to end this video until we get at least one decent blacktail, since that is what I came out here to get. Because so far we've pretty much only found turkeys and it's not really what I'm here for. Okay, so there's our doe. I don't see a buck. So I'm not sure if there's anything else in the area. I don't think there is. But I do want to make sure before we shoot. Uh, that shot looked like it should have been good. I'd imagine we either got single lung or maybe intestines because she didn't drop immediately. So I guess we'll have to track her. Unfortunately, yeah, it is just an intestine shot. Must have hit just slightly too far back. I'm still getting used to the classic bow hunting again since I played mainly Call of the Wild for the past couple months. Still need to get dialed in again with these bows. All right, so we got the tracks of a male Roosevelt elk. So I think we're going to actually go after that. I want to see if these ones are also. Ooh, they are. And that's actually a four to 500 kilo track. So we definitely want to go after these elk. I actually did hear a cow over here call out. So hopefully she is with these bulls because there's a couple decent sized tracks there. One being a max weight track. So hopefully we can come across them. Oh my gosh. That elk is a lot closer than I expected her to be. I think she's alone though. Uh, we do want to get her down though just so she doesn't spook anything else. There, that'll take her out. Only in Classic would I ever take a 40 meter bow shot. In Call of the Wild, I just don't feel comfortable taking those. But here in Classic, it's a lot easier. As long as they're not moving, you, you, you can usually hit your shots pretty well at 40 meters. Alright, so here is that elk that we just took out. Perfect little double lung shot on her. Let's get back on the trail of this bull and hopefully we come across him soon. Okay, I do see an elk. I see a couple elk. That's got to be our bulls. That's probably the two smaller ones that are with whatever's leaving this 500 kilo track. So hopefully we can get at least one of them down. I really am curious to see what the size of the big track is. Okay, there he is. I believe that's him. Looks like the biggest one of the group, and it's not that big, actually. Hopefully there's more than three. I see three so far. All of them are pretty average, smallish sized ones. So that guy's a little bit closer than I actually thought he was. That does look like the biggest one, though. We definitely want to wait till he's close. And this will do right here. That will get him down. Hopefully that did not spook off the others. All right, so let's go ahead and claim this guy. I don't see the others. They are either still over the hill or they fleed off. So we'll just go ahead and get this guy. Get him claimed. Let's see what he scores. It's not going to be super massive, but still a 281. So not too bad. All right, so we finally got the grunt of a buck. So we're going to go and try to get this guy. I'm so happy to finally hear a black tail. It has been probably around 40 minutes since I started the hunt here and we have not heard a single buck grunt until now. So we really need to get this guy down. 
That way I didn't come out here for nothing. All right, so here's our buck. It's nothing too crazy, but a decent black tail to start off with. So this is the first one we've seen today. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and get this guy down if we can. Get lined up on him. And take the shot. That is a very dead black tail deer. Now, I'm not always the best at guessing scores on these animals in the Hunter Classic. As most of you know, I'm primarily a Call of the Wild person. But I did start out on Classic, but I played it very casually. So I didn't really ever learn all the ins and outs of the game. Never got to the point of knowing what an animal would score based off of its looks, but if I were to take a guess on this guy, I'd imagine he's around 140 to 150. Just looks about the same as the bucks that have scored like that in the past for me. Definitely a decent looking buck. And it scores 155. That does seem to be pretty much the average for a black tail. We'll get a trophy shot though. Since he is the first one that we've killed today. It actually does have some really cool little drop tines. Little stickers off the side. Yeah, it's not too bad. Might be a pretty small black tail, but it's at least a cool one. Yeah, it's not too bad. Kind of sucks that we are in the shadows, but we'll just have to find a filter that kind of helps with that. The chroma one does make it kind of pop a little bit better, so I think we'll do that. I do like the way this guy's got these little sticker points that kind of pop off the sides. Very nice looking, so we'll accept that trophy shot. I'm not going to tax this guy, we'll just sell him. But yeah, that is not too bad. I do want to get a better one though. Alright, so I do hear another turkey. I think we're going to go for that and we'll probably make this the last thing that we kill. Because I've been recording for about an hour and 20 minutes now. And I don't want to run too much longer. Ooh, we actually have a elk right there. Not sure where she came from. But we should probably take her out or else this turkey could spook off. Let's see if we can hit this. And we got her. I believe that was a 70 meter shot with the bow. Not too bad. I really hope that one of these days they decide to make the bow hunting Call of the Wild a little bit more like Classic. I feel like Classic's bow hunting is just so much better. Way more realistic. And way more satisfying. There is nothing like nailing an animal from 60 meters with a bow. It just feels so good in this game. Especially since you can actually see the arrows flying. I feel like that's something that Call of the Wild did completely wrong with the tracer arrows is when you have a tracer in Call of the Wild, you really can't see where it's traveling, and that's the whole point of it, really. And that one hit a little bit too low. Oh well. It at least ran the opposite way instead of towards us, which is kind of what we needed it to do. And we did get a spine shot on that little elk right there. Kind of thought we did. We were a little bit higher than where I would have wanted it to hit. Let's go ahead and see if we can get those turkeys to come in now that we've had quite a few disruptions from these elk. There we go again. Ooh, that turkey's actually a lot closer than I thought it was. So we're gonna have to be careful now. It is really close, I think. I think it's actually a lot closer than I had thought. Maybe not though. I heard its wings. But I don't see it. Gosh, there it is. Let's get it down. There we go. Got that gobbler down. I do see another one, though. I think that missed it. Yeah, so I might not be the best shot at long range on turkeys. 
as we just saw. But we did get one down. Let's go check it out. See if this one is a decent sized one. Here we go, that little turkey. I think this is actually smaller than the others. Oh, actually, that's a pretty good sized turkey. That's not too bad. It's definitely the best one that we've killed today. So we'll go ahead and get a trophy shot of this guy. Go ahead and get our bow out. And go into the small game pose. I really don't know the best way to put this. So I guess we're just going to have to go with that. Looks a little odd, but... It's the only way I could really get it into the frame all the way. Interesting. Uh, we'll take it. I mean, it is just a turkey. It's not like any of them are going to look very different in the trophy shots, so... Uh, this will do. This will do. Definitely an interesting trophy shot, to say the least. But I think that's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that sub button, especially if you're new here. I see that around 60% of you guys have not subscribed to the channel, but are watching multiple videos. So if you guys are ready to become a sub, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. If you guys haven't liked the video, be sure to do that too. But that's going to be it for today. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.